Uh, just got 2016 Vauxhall Viva in today. It's quite a common issue with the ignition switch on it. Basically, sometimes when you're turning it, it's not doing anything, not starting. You wiggle the, the key a little bit, you can get it to start. Now, the fault relates to the ignition switch, which is just on the back of the barrel there. We've just got a second M1 ready to fit. We just bought it off the internet. I'll just run you through the replacement of it. Basically, just got to separate the trims around the cowling. There's one screw just with a Phillips head that screws up from underneath. Then you can unclip the top piece to get it off. Um, but once you get access to the uh, barrel there, there is this little plate over the top of it, which does actually have three shear bolts on it, which could be a little bit tricky to get off, but luckily they're not too tight. And I managed to get them all off just with a little pair of mole grips and just get a grab on there. And once you've cracked them off a little bit, you can just keep grabbing them and turning them. Not too bad to get off. Luckily, they're not too tight, so it doesn't make it too hard. Uh, but once you've got them off, your switch is just out on the back. Two screws, just one there at the top and one at the bottom. And you just want a little T20. I'm just using the T20 Allen key to get them off. And you can just get in there with that and crack them off. So we're just going to get that swapped over now and get it all back together. And that should fix the issue. Just thought I'd run anyone through. If they've got this issue and they was going to try and fit it, if you wanted to know how to do it, just thought I'd put it together as a quick run through. But we'll just show you once we've got it swapped over. Yeah, so there's the old switch out. I'll just show you from the switch the little screws as well. Really tiny little things. Um, while they are out, just before I swap it over, just run you through the clips. Just on this top fitting, basically you just need to unclip it at the sides, flip these little tabs outwards and you can pop them away. And once you have actually got the centre piece clipped out there, there are just two little screws as well. Which if you just put your steering steering wheel, just turn it each way, you can access the two screws to undo them. But yeah, we'll just get that swapped over now, put the new one on. So new one's all fitted now, knit back up. And just before putting the shear plate back on, we're just gonna put the connector back in. And just try it quick, just to make sure it works before obviously putting the shear plate back on. That's it, that's a good one. Before I so say it's not, it was a bit intermittent, not all the time, but just sometimes it wouldn't start with it. And if you just jiggled it around, it would start up. So we can just build it up properly now, get it all back together. So now it's all back together. The final screws just up under the underneath there. That's it, job's a good one.